hi scorpios welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna see whatever i can get okay so this is a timeless reading you can watch through sun moon rising and your venus and please remember that energy is interchangeable so let me say it's you and if it's not you then it just means that it's somebody that you're inquiring about or is somebody around you okay let's see We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. I see you being very isolated, very to yourself, okay? Uh, maybe you're doing some internet researches. Maybe you need to inform yourself regarding something. Or you will look up a lot of things on the internet here um, for your knowledge-wise here. Nine of Wands and the World. Fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. This is your energy. You're being very defensive, very guarded about handing a chapter in your life, okay? But this is not a whole, I always say this, okay, it's just as a chapter, it's not the whole book that you're closing off, or maybe it is for you, it's the ending of this, at some book, but there will be a new book here, or a new chapter, and there's a need of an ending here, but you're, re, you're delaying this needed ending here, or this is somebody around you, again, energy is interchangeable, I read the energy, but, um, make it resonate whether it's you or somebody around you okay so i almost said them so maybe you are inquiring about a certain person or you're wanting to see if you're gonna hear about a certain person but i see what i see okay i'm not asking about a specific connection here i see the message and i deliver the message that needs to be um delivered for scorpios here okay so let's see what else we see yeah <laughs> the full aries energy double confirmation here somebody needs to stop uh, what i was i want i want to start a new chapter but i said stop yeah you need to stop or somebody needs to stop holding on this because the longer you hold on to i'm saying you doesn't have to be you okay or somebody specifically i'm saying you in general so make it whether it's you or somebody else you need to stop holding up this chapter because the older you hold on to things the harder it will get <laughs> actually Thinking, talking from personal experience, the harder, the holder you, the hard, um, the longer you hold, the harder it gets. Again, oh my gosh, you see me shuffle. This is why I absolutely love to shuffle and to take jumpers on camera here. Okay, I have the three of wands. So the three of wands could be somebody that is stuck, period, or that could be stuck from someone from the past. And I'm getting somebody that not only that it, literally, I'm getting the energy of somebody that is stuck from someone from the past not just stuck in the past but from someone specifically here okay but they know and they have had signs that they need to let this connection go again the tower scorpion energy i can already tell that it's going to be a very specific message um because so far ever since those two cards came out so far every single cards keep going back to this same message so once again i feel like it's going to be one specific message so if it does not if it doesn't resonate just watch your sound when rising at our venus okay um for your other placements here um somebody needs to learn to know to hear <laughs> you need to let go okay doesn't mean because you have a past doesn't mean because you have a story with somebody that Okay, having it, sorry, let me put it this way. Having a past with someone, having an history with someone does not mean shit. If they are unavailable, they are unavailable. If they're no good for you, they're no good for you, okay? Um, if they're toxic, they're toxic. And it is what it is. Let's call a duck a duck here, okay? So somebody here, maybe this person was meant to serve a pur their purpose in your life. And so did you. And that being done you both need to go in your own way but there's a stuck energy where somebody wants to stay there and not wanting to grow spiritually to mature here because this connection is done they have this connection has made its time okay uh the purpose of both you guys in each other's life has been made okay it may have been very sudden but there was not a very solid foundation here okay the tower enlightened on a, f a connection that is not as strong as it may have uh, 
may appear to be here, okay? This uh, Scorpio energy, I keep saying that, okay? But we have your energy two times here, actually. So, maybe this is you that needs to let go of something or someone here, okay? Uh, because you may think that by staying with this per you're by leaving this person actually you're not gonna find better but this is exactly why you're never you're never gonna find anything better because you're stuck with this person that you know you deserve better okay and and being in that like energy you're actually blessing you're actually bucking yourself from something that you truly know and deserve okay so this is a breakthrough here but a very much needed one okay you may not see it right now but you will learn over time you will see why something happened in the future here okay if you do not know why something happened yet it's because you do not need that information in that current chapter of your life okay um let's see what else we see yeah oh my gosh what did I say? I'm going to take two more cards here, but I'm going to do the reading normally, but I literally said that. Okay, that's why I said that. Um, watch your other placements because I feel like this is a very specific message because uh, so far, again, another card indicating specifically checking about the same message. Again, the cards keep confirmating again and again. So this is why I said that because um, it's a very specific message. I don't think I will see anything else regarding that message because somebody needs to hear this. King of Swords because things people suggestion that no longer serves him. This person does not need to be maybe at the past at a specific time. They had a purpose in your being in your life, and so did you. But now that purpose is done, you have made what it is that you were meant to influence in their life, and so did they. And somebody needs to let go, and I feel like it's you. <laughs> I feel like it's you because we had two times your Scorpio cards, and maybe you are also dealing with a Scorpio. Take it as it resonates here somebody needs to let go you are no longer meant to be with this person you are no longer meant to be this person's life what is meant to be yours should never pass you by yes it may be the right person but not in the right timing okay and you need to go in your own way through your own path and if you're truly meant to be with that person how did it mean love friendship does not matter you will meet that person again but you need to go through your path you need to learn new things. You need to grow on a special level, mature, whatever the case may be. You need to go on your own path. So that way, when the right time comes, you will find each other if you're meant to be in each other's life. Okay? Oh, very deep reading. <laughs> Not surprising for a Scorpio read. But usually it's Libras, but Libras was very light. <laughs> okay? Let's see. What else do we see for my Scorpios? Yeah, two of swords. Oh my gosh, the same message again. Um, Gemini energy. The two of swords to me is somebody, instead of making a decision, decides to not make a decision. But by not making a decision, they're regardless making a decision. They're making a re decision regardless, right? So somebody is trying to have the two of swords. I'm still um, explaining the two of swords. The two of swords to me is somebody that tries to have the best of both worlds. And by... by um, by not making a decision. So somebody is wanting to have the best of both worlds. But in this card, it always backfires. Somebody needs to make a decision. Somebody is trying to have the best of both worlds by not making a decision. But that it's going to backfire. And this is exactly how they're going to lose both. Okay, somebody is trying to avoid the unavoidable here. Okay. Somebody is very denial. Somebody is acting in a very much a denial, delusional energy. Not delusional, I would say. Denial. Okay, let's not overuse word here. So, I'm going to say de uh, denial. Okay. Um, let's see what else we see. Again, I feel like the last card is going to go to this, again, this same message. I feel like I'm going to leave you on an advice here because, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, you guys see me shuffle from beginning to end. Again, I knew it, I knew it. Um, that is going to do all the cards after this. We're going to be about the same message. Um, you, if you need a, um, what's the expression? You need to flip through with it. Oh my God, I forgot the expression. But basically, if you do not want to take this decision yes, then yet, then yes, you can take your time. But don't avoid the unavoidable, unavoidable okay? Um, what did I say? I forgot the expression, but basically, you need to slip it off. And if after, like, multiple days, 
like you still have the same answer you still feel um this call to do the same action it has been days this is it this is your sign that this is what it is that you should do and if you have enough after, after a while of thinking about doing this specific thing separating yourself from this person then it is what it is that you're meant to do here okay but don't take too um irrational actions yes slip it through okay think about it before but if after like multiple nights um, you still want to do the same thing. You still feel called to do the same thing that it is your sign, okay? Okay, this is not delusional. This is not denial. The denial is to not make that action that you know that you should do deep down, okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> rumbling, but yeah, the five of swords. The five of swords is somebody going through a different uh, period of grief. You need to start taking the first. If you don't have to grieve over an hour or a day, <laughs> Geminis are able to go over breakups just like that but everybody especially as a water sign especially as not as just a scorpio but as a water sign or as a person period everybody go through grief whatever separations in different ways okay do not compare yourself to others people may go through shit over a minute people may go through shit just like people may go through shit over 10 years but as long as you're making the step towards that healing it is all that matters Okay, and don't let anybody guys lie you in making you believe that oh, Scorpio are taking too much time to heal over them. Like you still haven't healed from them. This is your relationship. This was your connections, your connection. So it is nobody's business but yours, and whoever you were dealing for. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm very straight up like that. So as they were not in the connection, they have no say on how you should period whether they are in a connection or not or how no matter how close they are to you nobody should tell you how you should heal you heal your own way your own matter okay unless you're doing like things that are dangerous to yourself then yes they should um stand up and speak up for your safety but other than that they have no say in how you heal if you take 10 years to heal you take 10 years to heal as long as you're making the step, the step towards that that's all that matters and nobody can tell you oh you're taking too long to heal oh oh you heal too fast no 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 no, no. that's something personal okay because that's gaslighting here don't let anybody gaslight you and making you believe that your way of grieving is not the right way because everybody grieves everybody go through breakups their own way people some people eat ice cream and watch chivi other people go drinking here or just go party everybody have their own way of grieving and don't let somebody around you make you feel guilty for the way that is that it is that you grieve unless it's very dangerous for you okay but drinking is fine like here in a while like all adults like it's fine right um but I really want to, I'm really rumbling for you guys, but I feel like the message um, that needed to come through, I have come through here. Yeah, eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. I wasn't even going to check, but eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're blocking yourself um, because of your mental, your um, thought patterns. You make yourself believe that you won't be able to find something better. That's not the truth, okay? So do work on that as well okay i won't i don't want to leave you hanging here i'm gonna give you an advice okay that we're gonna read um from the booklet let's see i feel like it's gonna be re specific regarding that specific oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i wanted to pick one card but it gave me two cards but i absolutely love this we have the knight of pentacles <laughs> Wow. And the world fixed energy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. You guys, you guys saw me shuffle. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love this energy. So you could be going through a romantic, um, separation. Okay. Whether a separation or a romantic partner. None of it goes to me. Somebody that is single focusing on their coins. And again, the world is ending a chapter here. And we had the world two times from the different decks. Okay. So, oh my gosh. I'm going to read both. Okay. So, I feel like you need to hear both. Okay. So, that's why two came out. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. Wow. Wow. Synchronicity much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's read it. Nine of Pentacles first.
Let's hear spiritual and material satisfaction, personal achievement, inner peace, milestones met and celebrated, the energy of a successful harvest, contentment. You know those moments when you when everything feels a little bit brighter. You are reaching one of those moments, a culmination of hard work and desire, when you will be stepping into your manifested hope. These moments of spiritual and material bliss are highly personal and serve as funnels of glowing success. Look for this swing as for this swing as it surges into your heart and uses its power to move mountains, spread love, and enter your harvest. Go ahead and bask; you deserve it. Spending some time alone will help you to process your progress. Then celebrate. Um, and the quote for this card is, I enjoy the bliss and abundance that I have sown. And then the world. Number 21 could be significant, I feel, as well. Or maybe you need to go start a new chapter. Okay, this chapter needs to end in 2021. Okay, this person does not need to go in year 2022. Don't ruin your 2022 because of this person. Okay. Let's see. Or disconnection. Uh, let's see here. Completion, joy, wholeness, achievement, happy endings, abundance, success, new levels of consciousness, literally traveling the world. The world brings one of the most positive and abundant messages in the tarot. Congratulations, you've come so far. A large project or period in your life is coming to a successful conclusion. And it's time to revel, rev, revel in the sweet afterglow of your success. If you're not quite there yet, take this card as a sign that you're on the right path. Consciously step into the world's ascension energy and welcome at, uh, um, and welcome at this beautiful shift as your inner spirit landscape merges with your outer reality. As you reach this stage of fruition, remain focused. Don't slacken your resolve as you glimpse the magic at the end of the long journey because it's time to follow through with your final steps and complete the cycle. Um, okay, and the quote for this card is, I accept this gift of completion and I ascend to, you in, to new levels of awareness and wellness. I am love. Oh my gosh, I love this for you guys. But yeah, that's, that's what I see for you, Scorpios. I hope this was insightful for you and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.